Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you a way to get started with daily and weekly reflection in Obsidian that's quick, easy, and painless. Stick around. So we should probably start this video by talking about why you should do weekly reflection. And I think the key thing there is that the progress you're making in life can sometimes be a bit difficult to see in real time. It's fairly easy to see after the fact if you just remember to go look for it. And by spending five minutes each evening writing about your day, you can learn so much about yourself. And it's rewarding to look back and see all the good things that happen in life and the progress that you're making. The other big reason to do weekly reflection is I'm constantly amazed at how easy it is to forget the great things that happen in life. Um, if I don't take five minutes to write them down throughout the day, then they'll just go away. But most weeks when I go and do my weekly reflection, there's at least one thing that I had completely forgotten about that was amazing. So by taking a few minutes to do daily, weekly, and even annual reviews, it allows us to keep those things and then continue to enjoy them. All right, so let me walk you through how I do this within Obsidian. I have two templates, one for each day and one for each week. And it all starts with the weekly template, where at the beginning of each week, I choose one or two things that I think I can accomplish this week that are small but significant that will push me forward in some major way. So here on the right, I've got my weekly template from a couple of weeks ago. And I set out to do two things at the start of the week, which is I wanted to remember to post one of my videos to Reddit, because that's a major way people get exposed to the channel. And then also I wanted to either record a new video or commit to publishing a course. I was at this weird stage where I couldn't decide if a video I was considering would be better served as a singular video on YouTube or if it was big enough that it needed to be its own course. And I ended up ultimately just making a video for it. So shifting from the weekly template over to the daily template, each day I start with two key things. I wanna start with three things that I'm grateful for, which will usually come from the day before, and I wanna set a highlight for today. So one thing that if I accomplish today, today would be a success. And I set that at the beginning of the day, and then at the end of the day or the next morning, I look back and see whether I accomplished it. And then I also end the day with this one sentence response, which is today was a good day because. And this is a quick and easy alternative to doing a full-blown journal entry. And oftentimes it'll actually lead to a similar output, but it also gives you an easy out if you're just not feeling it that day. So here I've got an example of my daily note from yesterday. And so my three things that I was grateful for is one of my coworkers came to my YouTube channel and watched one of the videos and had some follow-on questions, which I was really excited about. I got to bed on time, which is something I've been trying to work on. And I had a great voice of the customer call with a bunch of our key customers. The daily highlight for yesterday was catching up on all the ticketing and the follow-ups from that call. And then it was a good day because I made some progress on a key thing at work. And then I also figured out a plan for getting our house ready to rent. And then I have this other area here for notes. And this is where I'll just drop anything that was interesting that happened during the day. Sometimes it's spontaneous things or just little workflow experiments that I try throughout the day. And if you haven't already used it, I highly recommend trying out one thing, which is this cool little menu bar app that will allow you to keep your daily highlight on screen throughout the day. So I'll take this one from yesterday. And if I tap up here on one thing, I can just type it in and then it'll always be there throughout the day. And then usually what I'll do is as I accomplish it, you can hold shift and click on it and make it go away. Um, but it's a great little way to keep those things front and center. I'll do this daily and at the end of the week, I'll shift back to that weekly document and I'll look back at those intentions that I set at the beginning of the week and see if I actually accomplished them. And if I didn't, was there a good reason why I didn't or is it just that they weren't on screen um, and being reminded of it? Uh, that reminds me, I have a small little tip, which is you can actually drag this weekly document to the bottom left of Obsidian and keep them visually displayed so that they're hard to forget. So I do my weekly review on Saturday and it's composed of these five components. I, I write down all the accomplishments from the week, the highs, the lows, anything that I'm excited that I learned, and then anything I'd like to improve. And for the most part, this is done just by looking at my daily notes and the other documents that I've created within Obsidian. So I've got this data view file that I use to pull all the recently created files to do my weekly review. So let me show you the data view script here. And what it does is it creates a table of all the files where the creation time was greater than eight days ago. So this gives me a one day grace period in case instead of Saturday, I do this on Sunday. Um, and it allows me to see all the files that were created in that period. And then what I'll do is I'll go through these and, and my daily notes are in here as well. And I, I just go through each one of these. And then anytime I see something that was interesting in one of them, 
I'll copy it over to accomplishments, highs, lows, and it'll remind me of everything that happened throughout the week. And then you're left with um, a really thorough documentation of what happened. And it can be really rewarding to see everything you've accomplished and to see any learnings that you want to take into the next week. So as a quick reminder to make sure I get through everything, I have a quick checklist that I run through each Saturday, which is I go through all the Obsidian notes, which I just showed you. If I've written up anything on my iPad or on my paper notebook. I'll go through all of those notes and create follow-ons from anything from there. Um, I'll go ahead and go through anything that I've done in drafts, although there's usually not a ton there. I check to see if I accomplished my intentions from the beginning of the week. I then start the document for the next week and set intentions for that week. And I go through my backlog and my to-do list to make sure the things that I'm going to do for this next week make good sense. This last one I don't always do, but it's in general a good practice, which is to look at what you did over the past week and make sure it matches your priorities and values. The other thing you can do to take this even a step further is to also do this annually at the end of the year. And so I did this for the first time this past year and I was amazed at how many great things had happened that I had completely forgotten about. And so what I do is I take the 52 weekly reviews and I go through them one by one and then I fill in um, cool experiences, places I visited, um, accomplishments from the past year, things that I was particularly excited about, um, game-changing ideas or tools, and then learnings. This was the first time I had done this and it was way more rewarding than, than I could have imagined. It does take a minute, but I highly recommend it. I wanna leave you with a couple Obsidian specific tips. Um, first of all, I highly recommend you install the calendar plugin, which makes the calendar show up here in the top right. This allows you to quickly jump to a specific day or week and also will allow you to see when you have incomplete to-dos from those days. So I need to go back to the 5th and the 8th and all these other dates and see what those to-dos were that I didn't finish. The other plugin that you're going to want is the periodic notes plugin, and that's what allows for the easy creation of the daily and weekly notes and to pull those from specific templates. So I use it for daily and weekly notes. I don't actually use it for yearly just because it's easy enough to create a new document for a specific year. And then lastly, I recommend setting keyboard shortcuts for getting to your daily note. So one of the things that I do is I have a keyboard shortcut to open and toggle Obsidian. And then I have command shift D to open today's daily note. And that'll bring me to the daily note no matter where I'm at. And then the other thing I do is I have keyboard shortcuts to go forward a day and back a day. So you can hit command shift comma to go back a day and command shift period to go forward a day. And this allows you to easily get back to yesterday's note as it might seed something for what you're grateful for and to jump around. You can get to those from the hotkeys and then search for periodic notes and you can see this is the daily note and then next daily note, previous daily note. I technically have one for weeklies, but I don't actually use this keyboard shortcut, so. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, then hit the thumbs up. If you loved it, then subscribe and hit the bell so that YouTube will tell you when something happens. A question for you in closing, what's your current workflow for reflection? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you all very soon.